Hey everyone, this is Kenny, and today I'm gonna to talk about the new Architect software by Blackstar. Uh, this is a new and exciting software that Blackstar just created and developed. And in this uh, software, this ha it has this thing called the Cab Rig Lite that is in the new Blackstar ID Core V3. So I'm gonna fire up the Architect software. Here it is, cool. And uh, this is plugged into the ID Core V3 Stereo 10. And in the Stereo 10, it has a cab rig light, which allows you to switch uh, different cabs, different microphones, and you could uh, it has its own EQ, a low and high uh, control where you could cut or boost those if you want to. Um, there's about, there's a 112 combo all the way up to an oversized uh, 412. And there are three different uh, microphone options, dynamic, ribbon, and condenser. And you could have those either option as an off axis or on axis. So as you can see on the ID Core V3, there's, um, for the control, there's only the voice options, gain, volume, and ISF control, along with the effects and effects level. And it's kind of limiting um, if you want more treble, if you want more bass, or if you want less treble or whatever you want. You can't control that on the ID Core V3. But if you have the Architect software, you can control all of that in the app itself. So as you can see here, there is bass, middle, treble, and then also a resonance and presence that is not seen in the amp itself. So that's another cool feature to have. Um, and also, as you can see, it's got a tuner, it's got a noise gate uh, option that you can want to turn on or off if you want to. You can't have that uh, just from the amp. You gotta have the app to engage or disengage those features. And also in modulation, you could, you could really fine tune the crossover depth, speed. You could switch between harmonic and non-harmonic uh, tremolo envelope filter, the, sens the sensitivity and depth, all that stuff, you can really fine tune it to your likings using the Architect app, along with the delay and reverb. So any future Blackstar products, and even the previous product, you can still use the Architect and still be able to do the same thing as you had on the Insider app, but now on the Architect. So highly recommended. So let's use the ID Core V3, and also with a little bit of help of the Architect, use those two uh, as an audio interface. So I have a logic session um, opened up already. Usually if you plug it in, it automatically identif identifies the unit as an audio interface. But if you don't see it, you could always go to preference audio and on the output and input device, there should be an option on which interface you wanna use, the input or output device you wanna use. So in this case, ID core amplifier, use that and press apply and you should be able to use this whole thing as a playback and also as an input. So really cool. So here we are. And in order to really get the best out of this, I would recommend you running two inputs or two tracks. One track, input one, and then audio two, I will set that as an input two. So if you have like a stereo imaging or if you have like a ping pong delay or a wide uh, reverb, you could really capture the true wide stereo um, by having these two together. And if you wanna have fun and if you wanna really wanna enjoy the playback as a wide stereo, I would just hard pan both of these left and right and really get some wide and awesome sound. Okay, so let's run the bright sound and hear out sounds and you could always set the level by using this part so this controls how much signal you want to put into the DAW so I have the level pretty low but you can see from the meter right here it's pretty hot already and you could always turn up if you want more so let me turn off the plate I'm at clean bright, so if I want to make it even brighter, I just turn up the treble. And I have um, everything else 
The middle is kind of cranked, the bass is cranked a little bit. It's a good clean tone. Beautiful sound. Now let's go mess around with the cab rig light, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of options. 112 combo, 112 cabinet, open back, close back. It's a lot of fun stuff here, just for the cab. And it tells you what kind of cab it is based out of. So, boom. If you cl click on that I, a uh, little information button, it tells you what it's based on. Uh, let's go use the 112 combo. And dynamic is kind of more focused. Condenser is a little bit brighter and ribbon is darker. So kind of think about that as like a reference point. And off axis, on axis, it adds even more brightness or it kind of makes it more flat or even darker depending on the microphone. So uh, in this case, a dynamic off axis is kind of an industry standard way to do it. So let's hear how it sounds. Cool, let's switch over to condenser. Now let's switch over to the ribbon. It should be a little bit darker. Right, now let's get to the fun stuff. So I got the multi-delay and plate, and I have these really soaked wet <laughs> uh, on the plate in the multi-delay. So let's hear how that sounds. I'm gonna add more feedback. You hear that trail going through? It sounds really good just sitting in front of it. Um, you can really hear and experience the wide stereo sound. And you should be able to hear that too when you're playing it back. Now let's get to more in the 80s realm, shall we? Yeah, why not, right? Um, let's go to the chorus flanger, turn that on, lower the speed, Crank the morph a little bit and do like a 50 50 mix. It just sounds really good if you're playing like tenths. So that sounds really nice, even with the combo. Let's switch to like a 412 classic option two using condenser and hear how that sounds. Very cool sound. Now let's get to a little bit more of the rock side of things, shall we? Go, let's go to the Super Crunch. Yeah, let's go to the Super Crunch. <laughs> and oversized, dynamic, rock and roll. Okay, gain, why, um, middle, and treble. For me, just having this EQ option is just the main purpose of having the Architect app, for me at least. I want to have that option to really fine-tune the voice and I usually raise the resonance all the way up because it's just kind of have that nice cushy low end um, that you could hear um, naturally so I have nothing just a noise gate heck yeah 
Tons of mid-range. It kind of helps with this P92. Yeah, rock and roll. Uh, let's go to the hall, raise the size, and hear how that sounds together. I feel like I'm at soundcheck <laughs> when there's like nobody in the audience and it's just just crew running around. You know, when you're like when you're in like a 3000 seater, you know, venue, I love just kind of cranking that amp and just playing that big power chord with distortion because you can really hear the reverb from the room and this kind of emulates that. <laughs> That reverb is, just kills me all the time. So there you have it, using the ID Core V3, the Architect, together as an audio interface. You could have so much fun with just these two new features that Blackstar is offering. For more information, please visit blackstaramps.com. Thanks for watching. See ya.